Chapter 845, In Sharp Opposition. On the next day, morning had arrived and the dawn was just rising. Bustling sounds already covered the entire dimensional realm as groups of martial artists came out from their residences, gathering in streams of people as they walked over to where the Azura Divine Kingdom had built the arena. These martial artists were nearly all the heroes from the Sky Spill Continent Central Region. Just from looking around, one could see revolving core and life destruction level masters everywhere. Xianchen Realm martial artists were rare and Haoshan Realm martial artists were even lower. After all, this was the battle that symbolized the highest level under the Divine Sea, let alone Haoshan Realm martial artists. Even Xianchen Realm martial artists only came for fun. The attacks would be incomparably fast, and they wouldn't even be able to see or understand the concepts and laws behind them. If they had come here, it was only because they were brought by their elders to widen their horizons. There are truly many heroic young elites in the Sky Spill Continent. Just the four divine kingdoms themselves surpass our holy demon continent's super holy lands. Lands in flew in the sky, sighing. Duan Mukum nodded. He came from a fey super holy land, the divine wood holy land. They could also be barely considered a quasi sixth grade sect, but was just shy of coming close to one of the four divine kingdoms. The four divine kingdoms were not only powerful but they also had many fifth grade sects subordinate to them. This point alone far surpassed the divine wood holy land. In truth, in terms of total comprehensive strength, the sky spill continent was weaker than the holy demon continent. The holy demon continent had numerous races and there was war being waged all year round. The martial artists there that were constantly in life or death situations, progressing at a speed far surpassing those of the more pastoral sky spill continent. However, in terms of just the most powerful martial arts influences, the Sky Spill Continent actually surpassed the Holy Demon Continent. This was because of the existence of the Sea of Miracles. The Sea of Miracles produced a massive amount of resources from its center. The four divine kingdoms were bountiful and rich because of the Sea of Miracles. The Holy Demon Continent had a corresponding eternal demon abyss. However, tens of thousands of years ago, a sixth great sect that ruled over the Holy Demon Continent had gathered twelve emperor-level powerhouses and wished to confine all the infernal energy of the eternal demon abyss with a massive array saving it for themselves to guarantee that their holy land would have a boundless destiny for the next 100,000 years. The result was that a great claw had stretched out from the eternal demon abyss and killed all 12 emperor-level powerhouses, including even the holy lord of the holy land. On that day, that holy lord and his holy land perished. From then on, the eternal demon abyss was cursed. Any divine sea powerhouse that dared take a step into the blood slaughter steps would die, let alone be able to enter the 1,000-mile forbidden zone to search for lucky chances. The only exception was for those that had become a 12-winged heavenly demon. It was still two hours from the start of the battle. But the nearby martial field was already filled with people. The most favorable positions in the sky were occupied by the great figures present. Even the elders of fifth grade sects were only able to suspend themselves at a low altitude. As for revolving core powerhouses, they had to fall on the ground and watch from afar. Tens of thousands of powerhouses had converged within the dimensional realm, all of them here to bear witness to this great battle. The morning sun rouse, radiant, and prismatic light spread throughout the world. At that time, a loud and clear phoenix cry rang through the heavens and earth. From afar, one could see twelve phoenix-like birds pulling a floating jade green ship, slowing flying over. Each one of these birds was 100 feet long with a wingspan of over 150 feet. As they spread their wings and floated, a faint golden light sprinkled downwards. It was simply like a goddess traveling out in the world, that is. The White Clan's Fairy Snow Gale. The White Clan was a Holy Land level family clan that lived at the borders of the Nine Furnace Divine Kingdom. This family clan had a special bloodline. It was similar to the bloodline seal of the Forsaken God Clan. Their power was not to be trifled with. And, Fairy Snow Gale was the Divine Sea Supreme Elder of the White Clan. In a battle between life destruction level powerhouses, a Divine Sea Supreme Elder had actually come to watch, when Lin Ming was preparing to cross life destruction. Although it captured the attention of the world, it still wasn't enough to disturb any Divine Sea Supreme Elders. But later, all sorts of various phenomena had occurred as he was crossing life destruction, repeatedly confirming the truth that he was the eternally rare number one talent. If he could win this battle then it was likely he would become the highest under the heavens. This matter was naturally worthy of a Divine Sea Supreme Elder's attention. After the White Clan's Fairy Snow Gale arrived, a misty auspicious purple light appeared in the sky. From afar, an extraordinary and venerable blue-clothed old man flew over. He held a peach walking stick in his hand and rode on top of a green ox. This old man's eyebrows were so long that they hung at the corners of his mouth. He looked kind and elderly, from his head to his toes. There wasn't the least bit of pressure coming from him. He only seemed to be an old mortal man with another worldly temperament. That's old man good fortune. Heavens, he's still alive. A martial artist blabbed out, shut up. A divine sea supreme elder's senses are beyond sharp. What happens if you manage to offend them? Do you want to die? Old man good fortune is the oldest living divine sea supreme elder in the world. He is at the late divine sea realm. The last time that old man good fortune had appeared in the world was over a thousand years ago. At that time, it was already said that he was over seven thousand years old. After not being seen for a long time, it was rumored that old man good fortune had died while meditating. No one ever imagined that he would reappear in the public eye today. Old man good fortune came from no sect, nor did he have a family clan. He was like a wild crane leisurely flying through the world. No one knew just how strong he was. But, rumors said that thousands of years ago, he had once fought the Nine Furnace Divine Kingdom's highest divine emperor with neither side being able to emerge victorious. In short, he was a super powerhouse nearing the highest under the heavens. He was a character at the same level as the Nine Furnace Highest Divine Emperor and the Great Smelting Imperial Grand Uncle. 
Unfathomable. I never thought that senior good fortune would also come to the Forsaken God Clan's dimensional realm to watch a fight between juniors. Two thousand years ago, I followed Master to pay respects to senior. Today, for this junior to see senior's magnificence again is truly a deep honor. As an exquisite voice rang out, a woman wearing white silk flew out from the jade ship. She was Fairy Snow Gale, with old man good fortune's appearance. Fairy Snow Gale naturally had to personally come down from her boat to pay her respects to him, faintly like a junior seeing a senior. This left all the surrounding martial artists speechless. This old man good fortune truly had a ridiculously high rank. Even Fairy Snow Gale had to respectfully greet him as a junior. Ah, so it's White Feng Feng's disciple, Little Snow? Back then you had just crossed life destruction and were at the prime of your life. Now, in the blink of an eye two thousand years already passed and you've reached the Divine Sea. Time truly flies by. I heard that in recent years your master has already passed away. What a pity, what a pity. Old man Old Fortune shook his head, his voice filled with the vicissitudes of time. The surrounding martial artists were actually dumbfounded as they heard his words, all of them shocked silent. Having lived for a thousand years, two thousand years was actually just a blink of an eye. This left the surrounding martial artists dispirited. After all, most of them weren't even one thousand years old yet, especially when he said the words Little Snow. They really didn't know whether to laugh or cry, to be able to call Fairy Snow Gale Little Snow. The only one with these qualifications was probably Old Man Good Fortune. After Old Man Good Fortune arrived, two more Divine Sea Supreme Elders also came. Although they were both characters with great backgrounds and it was nearly impossible to see them, once everyone saw a legendary figure like Old Man Good Fortune, they weren't surprised by anything else anymore. An hour soon passed with four Divine Sea Supreme Elders having arrived in this time. Even the direct disciples of a Holy Land rarely saw the Divine Sea powerhouse of their own sect. So how could they ever see a scene like today, with four Divine Sea Supreme Elders in attendance? It wasn't an exaggeration to say that this was the grandest event in the last 1,000 years of the Sky Spill Continent. This was a battle that concerned the future of someone with the potential to become the highest under the heavens. This sort of grand event could only be compared with a battle between two Divine Sea Powerhouses. But, a Divine Sea Powerhouse would normally only take action when a war was being waged, at their level. Once they fought and received internal injuries, those wounds wouldn't be something that could be cured by common medicines. It would possibly affect their life. Leon Langian has arrived. No one knew just who spoke this, but everyone's eyes turned towards the Forsaken God Clan's palace. From that direction they could see over a dozen powerhouses flying over. The ones in the lead were Shibai and a masked old man, two of the Forsaken God Clan's Divine Sea Supreme Elders. There was still another Divine Sea powerhouse that hadn't appeared. He had likely remained in the Forsaken God Clan's Ram Heart Great Hall to operate the Dimensional Realm's array formation. The Forsaken God Clan had put out their highest elites for this battle. Closely following behind Shibai was a young man. This young man was Li Ming. He wore white clothes and every step he took seemed calm and tranquil, as if he were taking a leisurely stroll. His makings were ethereal and his eyes were like the sky. Bright and clear, that is the number one talent of the Sky Spill Continent. He only looks as if he's 18 or 19 years old. Such a handsome young man might actually rank in the top 10 powerhouses of the Destiny Degree. That is truly incredible. Although most of the martial artists didn't think Lin Ming could win, none of them suspected that Lin Ming couldn't rank in the top 10 of the Destiny Degree. If he didn't have at least this strength, then challenging all the life destruction powerhouses of a divine kingdom was suicide. Old man Good Fortune looked at Lin Ming from a distance and exclaimed, He is truly the number one rare talent of the Sky Spill Continent, with a skeletal age of just over 20 years old. He actually declared war on all the life destruction martial artists of a divine kingdom. The younger generation is truly astounding. Just over twenty? Beside old man good fortune, a flash of astonishment appeared on Fairy Snow Gale's face. When young martial artists' cultivation reached this cultivation boundary, it was very difficult to estimate their age from their appearance. For instance, CGAO had practiced martial arts for over sixty years, but she still appeared like a young eighteen-year-old girl. Fairy Snow Gale had only known that Lin Ming was very young, but she didn't know just how young he was. She vaguely guessed that he was in his thirties, but after hearing today from old man good fortune that Lin Ming's skeletal age was just over twenty years, how could she not be startled, to be more accurate, he should be around twenty-one to twenty-four years old. He is no older than twenty-five years of age. Fairy Snow Gale didn't know how old man good fortune saw Lin Ming's true age, but since he said so then this naturally wouldn't be wrong, to be at most twenty-four twenty-five years old, then not mentioning his strength. Just as peak first stage life destruction cultivation could already be considered unprecedented since ancient times, even Fairy Snow Gale herself had only broken through to the Revolving Core Realm at 25 years of age. The Revolving Core Realm was an entire large boundary away from life destruction. As Fairy Snow Gale was shocked, the martial artists of the Azura Divine Kingdom also arrived. A massive black grass boat flew over, covered with people from the Azura Divine Kingdom. The grass boat was surrounded with an array formation that isolated all perception. It was impossible to tell just who was on the boat or how many people there were. The Azura Divine Kingdom had undoubtedly done this to hide their cars and pressure Lin Ming, judge. Before the Godspeed boat came to a stop, a harsh grating voice came out from the Godspeed boat. You little bastard, your death day has arrived. After this battle I will capture you and refine your soul. These vicious words completely ignored the presence of Shibai and everyone else there. A withered old man with stringy long hair appeared outside of a spirit boat. He was the Azura Divine Kingdom's Emperor Uncle, Si Chubanim. He had a bitter grudge against Lin Ming. 